Hey yo, what's up? Um, it's Timmy Lee Glean again, and coming at you with another, you know, single father thought. And this one is very vital, and it's very vital because your children, you know, as far as a parent should be your biggest priority, and you want to make sure you're being careful. You want to make sure that they are safe. You want to make sure that they are out of harm's way. And this topic that I'm going to talk about is, I believe, monumental, only because it's this unsaid thing where, you know, us in the brown community don't speak about this too much. And just in general, I feel like many people aren't bringing this up, or at least I don't hear it. But I want to say stop getting into relationships as a single parent. And... Reason being is you don't know anybody, you know, ultimately. And you bringing certain, you know, people around uh, that comes with certain demons or, you know, certain energies about them that is detrimental to humanity in general, you know. But once you have a lack of a standard of a person or just somebody in general, you know, you're not going to... Be careful to truly get to know somebody, you know. Once it's lust in your mind and you're just thinking, like, sex, 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 sex. It's, it's, you know, that's their purpose of being in your life. That's, you know, their purpose of being around. But you never know what type of perversions that certain people are in and what type of lust and, like I said, what type of demons they have on them. Now, once you're dealing with somebody that is extremely lustful, say, for instance, a man. Yeah, and he's a lustful man. If you know anything about lust, it is never satisfying. And having certain people around, your daughters and, and all this stuff, that is why molestation, you know, and, and, and all these things are coming up. You know what I'm saying? Like, And not to say it, it hasn't been a thing before, but it's children are more open to attack in these single mother households, you know, where there's children, innocent children, there's boys as well. It ain't just girls dealing with it, it's boys as well. You know, you leaving this man or, you know, even this woman to babysit and it's weird stuff going on or weird stuff going on with, you know, some boys that are older, younger teenagers and stuff like that. And I can, you know, vividly remember being 10 years old hearing boys like yo man i had a grown woman and all these boys bragging about it sixth grade seventh grade eighth grade like these boys have been getting molested you know by older women you know so and that's something that none of us talk about or none of us speak about is these older women these these predatorial women that's going around you know doing what they doing with young boys, you know, and I said, you got to take your time with people, you got to sit down with them, get to know them, get to feel them out, you know, and that's why, like I said, I, I suggest courtship, you know, and if it's somebody that you're interested in, and things of that such, but once you're in a certain life, you're not even thinking of marriage, you're just thinking of lust, you're thinking of, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, but like I said, that stuff ain't good for your children. And not just, you know, molestation is just a bad example of a woman or a man for your children. You know, they might be into some bad habits or might be in, in, in a lifestyle contrary of family growth. And you never want that around your children. You know, you want to be careful, you know, with it's, 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 it's very sensitive once you're bringing another person in your life. You you want them to truly, you know, not to say fit the mold of your life, but you as a parent, you know, if you're going to, you know, consider somebody to be in your life, you know, like a significant other or anything, I suggest, if is this a person that you can marry? And if it's not a person that you can marry, they don't need to be around your children. Ain't nothing wrong with, you know, being a grown-up and, you know, maybe going out on a date, 
you know, or, or what I don't even believe in dating, so I ain't gonna promote it, but I know some people date, you know, and like I said, that can be counterproductive, you know. It's it's all about just trusting in God and who God has for you. You know, and I give glory to God for delivering me from, you know, what I was in, you know, and since then I ain't have no females around my children. I rarely have people around my children, you know, because I needed time to heal. And I feel like that's something that a lot of single parents don't do. They don't give themselves time to heal and to focus on what they need to do for themselves. And, you know, rather it's therapy, rather it's getting into the word, you know, rather it's just, you know, reflecting and understanding and you know, their situation, what they've been through, and being 100% accountable for what they allowed in their lives or being accountable for what they've done in their lives. You know, man, I says a lot of people not giving themselves enough time and just hopping into something with somebody else. You know, you do that same, you got to get out that cycle once you got children. You can't be in that cycle. And once again, I'm not telling anyone what to do with their lives because I know a lot of people don't like when somebody tell you what to do. It's just a healthy suggestion, you know, that when you're a single parent, you should stop dating, you know, entirely, I believe, and, and focus on your family, you know, and trust in, you know, God is so good, you know, and you know, it's better to marry than to burn, ultimately, so... I just had this thought in my head and I wanted to get it off my chest, so, you know, like I said, I wrote all these ideas down and I'm about to just talk about it. So, you know, I'm going to come at you with some more of these talks and, you know, I hope that you're taking heed. I hope that you're listening. I hope it's something that you can receive from and I don't want to sound like this super duper judgmental person that's just looking into your life, you know. I just seen it firsthand with certain experiences where children are hurt and the whole point or the whole premise of this single father's talk it ain't about single fathers, it's about being a single parent and making sure that your children are in the best possible position that they can be because this happens, you know, it happens to the best of us, you know, and like I said, I'm lucky and fortunate to be in this position and I'm not trying to have nobody, you know, even if I rock with you, even if I like like you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to make sure, like, okay, is this somebody that I can bring around my daughters? Is this somebody that, you know, can be a proper example of, you know, the type of woman that I desire, you know, so my son can have an example of his father loving a woman the correct way and a woman loving me the correct way and my son seeing that, you know, and my daughter seeing that. Because ultimately, it's all about the children at the end of the day. As I said before, you know, your life ain't really your own anymore and you got to think for your tribe, you know. You, you thinking, once you're thinking selfishly, thinking about your pleasure, about your wants, and you know, and, and, the, and not even need your needs your wants, what you're thinking about these things, it clouds a parent's judgment on somebody. And like I said, you you doing this and that and that and this and having weird creepers babysitting and being around your children, you know, and that is why molestation is running rampant and that's why improper examples are, you know, raising these children, these are their role models or whatever, and you're just creating cycles and you're raising a cycle of people to be just like what caused you pain. You know, there's so many people that's dealt with this stuff and they're having children and putting their children in the same exact position. And it hurts my heart to even speak about this. It hurts my heart to Children are so precious, and children are, you know, they're, they're innocent, and they don't deserve this type of stuff. And once you see the result of that, once you see grown-ups 
You know, like grown ups, like people. I'm thirty. People my age. You know what I'm saying? Like coming into people's lives, trying to destroy them. Those people are hurt, and they've been hurt since they were children. And these are some issues that many people don't speak about. Many people try to ignore and they try to run away from it, but it comes out in their actions. It comes out in how they raise their children. It comes out in how they treat people. It comes out in how they look at certain stuff. And, and just there, some people's views are just so warped. You got to sit down with people and get to know them. Once you, once you get with them on a physical level, it, it's like, Everything about them just, or every possibility just kind of wipes out of your mind because you're into that physical intimacy so much. You don't get to know them spiritually. You don't get to know them mentally. You don't get to know where their head's at, where their heart is at. You don't get to know the type of things that they like, you know, the type of habits that they're in, their hobbies or, 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 or whatever. You don't know nothing about people that you're allowing in your life. And... Just stop getting into relationships and focus on you and on improving your livelihood and doing the best that you can for your children. And trust and believe what you're doing right. And I, like I said, go to God, you know, and, and ask God about this thing. Pray to God about, you know, a relationship. Pray to God about a person. Pray to God. Go to God. Go to the most high and trust the most high. If, if God's telling you know about something, you already feel it. We already have that intuition inside of us. The, the, he was greater in us than us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that spirit man inside of you is speaking to you. You know, if, if you're listening to this, it's, it's somebody, it's a man, a woman, you know, and you might want to invite somebody around. You could tell certain stuff just on the surface. But once you have this unction and this weird feeling, and I ain't talking about paranoia, I'm talking about like, yo, this don't feel right. Don't ignore that. You want to make sure your children are good. And I feel like a lot of parents put their children in danger, you know, because they're getting into these relationships too fast without getting to know somebody and bringing these people around their children. You know, that's... You know, that's, that's your... That's your legacy. You know, and it's up to you on how their futures turn out. You shape their futures. And now you're adding these type of people around your children. You know, that's a part of shaping their future, you know, for destruction and chaos. And like I said, you're either raising a light to this earth or you're raising the darkness of this earth. You know, you're raising, you know, healing and breaking generational curses or you're raising destruction. And it starts, it continues a cycle of destruction or it continues a cycle of being a light. And it's up to you to choose who you bring around your children. Ain't just relationships, it's just people in general. But ultimately, uh, I say, I hope that you took something in. And remember that the children, you know, are the priority in this whole entire parenting thing. And. You know, and that's that, but thank you for listening and God bless.